box of dang Joy Boy and shit. Yeah, we got video for you guys. I got a few videos coming out tonight. Um, and they're all gonna be back to back to back. So, um, please forgive me if if my head is not all the way into these predictions, but just remember I'm doing a bunch at one time. So anyway, this fight is going to be for Robert Helenas versus Derek Chisora. Bout takes place on December the 3rd. It's going to be a heavyweight fight. Um, Put together two, two um, contenders, Robert Helenas and Derek Chisora. Um, Derek Chisora had just had a fight a couple weeks ago. Um, pretty much he was coming off of his first loss against Tyson Fury. And Robert Helenas is coming off of a victory over um, Siahari Sia um, Lakovich. Um, coming off a victory against him, um, a knockout victory. So pretty much what you have is you have two young heavyweight fighters who are looking to kind of make that next transition into the, into, um, the heavyweight division, whether it be into the title picture or whether it be continuously fighting other contenders or old contenders. Um, so I think in this fight, Derek Chisora is trying to prove that he's not a domestic fighter. While Robert Helenas is trying to prove that he should be a contender for the heavyweight title. So, but pretty much both of them can be contenders of the heavyweight title just due to the fact that the talent pool in the heavyweight division is so shallow. So, going into the fight, first off for Robert Helenas, Robert Helenas is a good fighter. Um, fights behind his jab, has a long left jab, blocks down other jabs and comes over the top with his own jab. In this specific fight, he has to control the range and control the distance using that jab. And with Robert Helenas, Robert Helenas uses a whole lot of different punches, um, a different assortment of punches against opponents. Whether he's using the left hook and the right hook, or even the left uppercut, he knows how to set it up off of that jab. He knows how to control the range and the distance. He knows how to change the fight around just off of one punch. He's powerful. He's tall. He, know, he knows how to fight tall. He knows how to control the range. He knows how to, and he can, and he has the power to bomb out an opponent. Any opponent that he faces, he has that power to bomb out his opponent. And I think he has a chin to be able to withstand um, punishment that comes back. So in this specific fight against Derek Chisora, being that Chisora is a bit smaller, he's gonna have to stand tall. He's gonna have to stand the out, um, control Chisora from the outside using the jab, um, use the jab right hand. Um, pretty much um, short combinations inside. He's going to have to tie up Chisora. He's definitely going to have to tie up Chisora because Chisora is definitely going to be trying to work his way inside. So pretty much every time Chisora gets close, he has to tie him up or hit him with a short punch inside, like a short right hand inside, just tie him up instantly so that Chisora doesn't get a chance to let his hands go and, and work and try to work to work Kalinas to the body. So pretty much this should be a fight to where Robert Lee stands on the outside, stands tall, jabs, blocks Chisora's jabs, and um, shoots over his jab with the right hand. Um, it should pretty much just be that kind of fight. And he also has to walk down Chisora, make Chisora back up, make Chisora have to fight his kind of fight to where Chisora's trying to work his way inside to where Chisora's catching jabs and catching power punches trying to walk inside. That's the fight that Robert Helenas wants. He wants to. He just wants to. He just wants to be the bigger fighter, and he wants to keep Chisora on the outside because if Chisora gets inside, he's gonna let his hands go. So, on the other side, you have Derek Chisora. Derek Chisora is gonna have to get inside. And he's gonna have to get that head on his chest. He's gonna have to get you know, and he's really good at landing punches from landing like specific angle type punches. It's kind of like how Chuck Webner used to do when Chuck Webner would throw a punch, and he'd get his head on the chest. And when he would get his head on the chest, you know, his punches would be coming, you know, he's standing in front of you and he's squared up with you. And those punches would be coming from just odd angles and odd places in the ring and he would position his hands very oddly. And Derek Chisora needs to kind of do that kind of fight. He needs, he needs to position his hands very odd. He needs to fight very awkward. He needs to use angles to get inside. You know, kind of use an angle, get the head in the chest, you know, and just start going to the body. Let his hands go in this fight. He has to have his to let his hands go early in this fight in order to win. He has to make Kalinas take a step back. He has to, you know, he can't let Kalinas come forward in this fight. He can't, he has to take the jab away from Kalinas. He has to take away that size advantage. And the only way to take away the size advantage is fighting close and staying close to Kalinas. Going to the body up close. Letting the hands go inside. Um, looking for the, look for the uppercut to the solar plexus. 
avoiding the Helene's uppercut. You know, he has to block a lot of Helene's shots to be able to get inside, and he does have a good hand position to where he could block punches inside. So, pretty much with this fight, Derek Chisora has to fight a very disciplined fight. He has to get his head on the chest. He has to pretty much go to the body very early. He has to pretty much neutralize Helene's attack by staying close to him. He has to stay close to him. He has to, he actually has to pressure Helena's. He can't really use angles on the outside. He can't fight Helena's from the outside because if, if, he if he's fighting Helena's on the outside, then Helena's jab is going to land first. And also something else with Helena's is when Helena's jabs, he's going to have to jab back because Helena's tends to catch jabs, you know, when he's throwing his jab because his jab kind of comes very slowly. So pretty much he has to time Helena's jab, return the jab, and look and shoot the right hand, the straight right hand, and um, you know, pretty much um, move around the ring. That's pretty much the fight that Chizora has to do in order to win this fight. He has to get inside. He's gonna have to let his hands go inside. He's gonna have to return, return Helena's jabs, and follow up his jab with the straight right hand. And I think he can very well win this fight if he can do that. If he if he can neutralize, you know, um, Helena's pressure. Helene's, and Helene's trying to walk him down. He has to use a lot of movement and set in um and not necessarily stand in front of him. You know, because if he stands in front of him, then Helene's has his bout. You know, he's gonna be standing, he's gonna be jabbing. And pretty much what he wants to do is he wants Helene's to move backward. He wants him to take that step back. And not only does he want him to take that step back, but he wants to I think if he take if he's making Helene's take the step back, he does take his power away. Because I think that Helena's power comes from him coming forward, more so than him going backward. So who do I think is going to win this fight? I'm going to go with Robert Helena's because I think that Chisora is going to stand in front of Helena's. And Helena's is going to be able to capitalize by fighting tall, using his jab, and, and his different assortment and repertoire of punches. So I'm going to go with Robert Helena's in this fight. Though this is a very winnable fight for I'm Derek Chizor. I just think that this is a Helene's fight just because of the size advantage, you know, says it all. It's gonna be more difficult for Chizor to get inside against against um Helene's compared to how he was against Fury. And with Fury, you know, he was out of shape and I'm sure he's in better shape for this fight. But a lot of the punches that Fury was hitting him with were punches that Helene's probably could have knocked him out and knocked him down or even hurt him with. So, you know, later in the fight I think that Helene's has this fight by knockout very late, probably in the 11th round. So I'm going to go with Robert Helene's 11th round knockout. So anyway, peeps, I'm out of here. That was The Distance. Thanks for watching. Peace.